Stand by, everybody. Six twelves are eighty-four. Uh, no, seventy-six or perhaps two. Never mind. Ready, steady. Two small hills. But what is a pink cloud with two freckled hills on it doing out here in space? Open the door. I knew I shouldn't have come. Welcome to Lavender Lullaby. Who said that? Me. That's right. I'm Woogie. I've never seen anything like it. Sit between my humps. You'll be more comfortable there. Thank you. What can I do for you, Doctor? I told my new friend all about the treacle tree and asked him if he'd seen it anywhere, while Dennis and the others watched in amazement. A flying tree. Oh, I am sorry. Uh, ask the sheep. A uh, sheep. <laughs> the sheep appeared from the clouds as if by magic, and at once I began to feel very sleepy. No lullabies, please. Has anyone seen a flying tree? Thank you. I can hear a woodpecker. Bring back Miss Nettles a -a -a at once. We've got her. Congratulations, Professor. Let me go! Don't worry, Miss Nettles, you are in very safe hands. I am Professor Erasmus Emerald, and this is my bush baby, Horner. Enchanté, mademoiselle. I'm the most wicked magician in the whole world, and I need a housekeeper. She's been kidnapped. <laughs> Keep away, you brute! Keep away! <laughs> Snackers? Dennis? Hello? Is anybody there? Hello. Hello. Over here. Aren't you pretty? I'm ticklish. So pretty. Kiss me. Let go. Let go. Let go of me. Help. Help. Snuggles. Snuggles. What, what, what is it? Listen. Is anything wrong? Anything wrong? Anything wrong? I'm giving notice. Miss Nettles was always giving notice. That's why they invented a special give notice machine for her. Oh, she'd come back. Of course, she always does. Don't touch it, sir. Don't touch it. Mm. Oh, don't touch it. Doctor Snuggles. Doctor Snuggles. It was the giant mushroom. Anyone who touched it was turned into a butterfly. Don't worry, Uncle Bill. There's bound to be a way to change you back. Ask the llama. The llama? Excuse me, Rick. Could you turn yourself into a boat? Of course I could, with a bit of help. Splendid. Outside, everyone. Rick's going to turn himself into a boat. He took off his roof and rearranged his walls. He blocked up his windows and pulled up his floor. And finally, he rolled himself over. I've done all I can. The rest is up to you. The cosmic cat may be able to tell us. Tell you what? Why the rainbow looks so pale and miserable. I hope the lavender sheep would appear to guide me. Ah, oh, there they were. <laughs> Woogie, where are you? You nearly landed on top of me. I'm so sorry. The cosmic cat said you wanted to see me about the uh, 
Rainbow? Yeah, that's right. You are to build a diamond-making machine, and into it you must put all your precious stones. All of them? But how will that help the rainbow? Wait and see. A diamond-making machine. How will that help the rainbow? Oh, if only Woogie had told me. Should we go in? Why not? Woke. You have reached the heart of the diamond, made from all your precious stones in the diamond-making machine, made to help the rainbow. How? I was coming to that. Was this where Miss Nettles had gone? Madam Dumpy Two's house? And there was Miss Dumpy Two with Lord Lewis. Her greyhound beside her. The house is a mess. There's a mouse under the stove. And spiders on the stairs. Spiders? He, he likes them. She was quite right. I do like them. Spiders can't hurt you. What should we call her? Um, Matilda. Matilda Junkbottom. Matilda Junkbottom. Well, I assure you, Mr. Sand King, that we didn't mean to trespass. We are just resting. Of course you meant to trespass. You're obviously friends of my great enemy, the Big Dipper Beast. No, no, I don't think so. Uh, who is the Big Dipper Beast? <coughs> I needn't have asked, because we were about to meet him. <coughs> Dear, what was to become of us now? Hello, 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 hello. Yeah. Dr. Snuggers wants you. Uh, what for? You're going to be a heart. A heart? Matilda's heart. Why me? Oh, no! You're going to have a heart, Matilda. The rabbits are bringing it now. She doesn't seem very excited. I don't want to be a heart! We had a fascinating trip, and there was plenty to look at. They seemed to find us pretty interesting, too. Finally, we saw Uncle Bill's lobster scape in the distance. Uncle Bill was evidently a greater friend to wildlife than even I had imagined. Aha, uh -huh, Snuggles! Look at this! What? Ugly-looking brute, ain't he? Why is he in a cage? Well, you see, he's different. Well, I'm different to you, but you haven't put me in a cage. Let him go. Uh, no, no. Please. Over supper, I told Uncle Bill about the big square holes in the sea we had seen on our way. I have been busy exploring, you see, so I haven't seen anything at all. The Dream Bubble Queen floated down amongst us, and with a graceful wave, she summoned an army of bubbles. Welcome, travelers, bloop. No harm shall come to you in Dream Bubble Land, bloop, but greed must be punished. Hello, my dear Miss Nettles. Huh? Indeed, the Sunny Smile Machine had certainly done its work. <laughs> Crunch. My, don't you look elegant today. Such a lovely day today. Come here, Nobby. Come to your uncle Dennis. Put me down, you brute. Put oh, me down. Here's a little something specially for huh? you. Oh, 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 it's true. I've always been so blue. <laughs> but now... <laughs> Oh, please don't, Dennis. Some people are trying to sleep, you know. Wait, I feel the presence of evil. <laughs> oh, don't worry. He's not really that evil, just a bit <laughs> mischievous. An ambitious young knight decided he wanted the power of the Pandorium for himself. 
The aged priest who guarded the casket was an extremely light sleeper. Rather than let the precious element fall into evil hands, the priest threw it deep into space. Let us out, and we can help you to be free again. <laughs> yes, we want to be free. <laughs> but we're afraid. If you went, the machines would find out. Uh, and how do we know you'd come back? <laughs> no, it's out of the question. The machines will punish us. Wait, now listen. I'll stay here. Then you can be sure that Dr. Snuggles will come back. But to Dennis... Tell me why, Doctor. 